Welcome everyone. I am Emerald Green and I am the chick who reads. I'll be bringing you intuitive messages directly from spirit, the most high, the divine. Now these readings, they are for entertainment purposes, so it may or may not resonate with you. However, if it does, I do ask if you would please um, hit that like button. And if you feel called, hit that subscribe button and join the family. Now, um, keep in mind with Tarot, energy is fluid, so I could be saying he, and it could definitely be a she. I also mention uh, zodiacs as well as time, but it's all energy, so <clears throat> adjust it accordingly. Flip it as it may be needed for you, but um, don't force it to fit. Now, also remember, whenever watching these readings, it can be past, present, or future so um just keep that in mind y'all i uh woke up this morning oh i be singing and i can't and i also because and i'm getting better but you know i'm trying to stop um <clears throat> the song by mariah carey I gotta shake you up, cause the loving ain't the same, and you keep on playing games like you know I'm here to stay. That song? It's like the guy for the night, and you gotta get about a hit and go somewhere. Ooh. So, there's a situation going on, and I don't know what it is but that song was in my head my head real strong this morning when i woke up oh okay what a single roller coaster trash <laughs> racing lockdown i don't know someone just told me to show that <clears throat> so I don't know what's going on with the situation, but I pulled out the situation back. And I got a pleasant surprise, y'all. So I had started, I can skip past this if y'all don't want to hear it, but I had started um, growing a money tree and it was growing really, really good. And I had got this soil to add into my bowl and it was, I don't know if it was the wrong soil or the wrong bowl with the soil. I don't know, but my money tree ended up suffering and passing away. So I had some more seeds, you know, cause me and my son, we always out there gardening something. My, my baby boy. And um, so I switched it out and then I went out of town. I come back and my plants are already like there. It's like blooming. I shouldn't move the pot, but they're popping up. It's like so dope. It was a pleasant surprise. I was like, thank you. <laughs> Cause I was like really sad that my money tree died. My mama had gifted it to me. Somebody's in despair. Oh my goodness. Okay, so. And then can't stop loving you. Can we have my stuff? Somebody is uh, sh trying to shake something off. It's something going on in someone's head. Because we have imprisonment. I shuffled my tarot deck first off camera, of course. And the Nine of Swords. And um, I cut on the Nine of Swords and the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, that's some serious shit going on. Like, adjudication. Somebody is leaving someone. This is, okay, we got a false person. I think about the day you left without speaking. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Spirit said, get, get over here and read this. Look at that, courthouse and coffin pops out immediately. Excuse me, okay. Spirit said, don't you put them damn cards back. Because <laughs> that show's about to. Can I get one more Holy Spirit, Holy Angels? Do I even need one more? Okay. Somebody is thinking about a relationship. Oh, and they're concerned. There will be no more lies. We got the community in the reverse coming out. Somebody is begging in this situation. Somebody feels like they're dying. What's coming on for me? Only they can't you see 
and I can't stop loving you. Somebody can't stop loving somebody and they can't help themselves. They're concerned. There is a divorce or maybe there was a divorce or there was something going on in the courthouse. There was some type of receipt, some type of proof, evidence of something. Today, this is like in the present right now. This is going on right now. There's an ending or a loss. Could have been a death. Um, the community is in the reverse though. Maybe somebody is not having support or they're not receiving support like they thought they would or this could be a karmic community community of people i see hamster wheel that today present keeps hopping to the bottom when i shovel so we're gonna see i'm also gonna use uh this is intuitive envisions 11 11 i ordered it on um etsy can I get three cards from the Spirit Holy Angels? What's going on with this situation? Because uh, we got waves. I'm not taking the cards that flip over in the deck. I'm, I really want pullers, Holy Spirit. Um, but somebody has a lot of emotions coming in, or either they're expressing a lot of emotions, but it's like a wave, like a crashing of emotions. Like this is, um, I'm getting like a storm almost, like a lot of tears, a lot of emotions. A raging. There is a lesson that has been learned. Somebody's turning their back. They walked away. They they are done, done. Like they understand. Somebody could be retaliating. Somebody's trying to get revenge or pay somebody back or punish them. Like they're trying to ruin someone's happiness. I'm getting or somebody could have some type of happiness or wholeness or I don't know. That pop up was standing out right here, and I could see it. I didn't know if y'all could see it or not, but yeah. Okay, hold the spirit. Can I get some cards for the collective? Okay, what got a ascension? Love affair. Oh shit. Done flips over again. I'm gonna take these for ascension, love affair, threatened, embarrassed appearances. I see a clown face that's not happy, but they they got a face painted on like they're happy or something. And negotiated, bargaining, begging. I said someone was begging. And somebody's turning their back. This is like somebody was awakened to something or they realized something or they were ascending. They were getting on this spiritual path like they were walking it alone. I'm getting there was some type of documentation someone was concerned about. Or some type of secret someone was concerned about being exposed. Something type of passionate secret. Like something that they kept to themselves. They put an ending to it. Maybe this person put an ending to it because of something that happened in the past. That woke them up on something. But this person was embarrassed or something was closed out and it threatened them or I don't know. They, they were left looking like a clown is what I'm getting. Or someone tried to make them out to be a clown. I don't know y'all. I don't fuck with clowns. <laughs> I don't care if it's at a kid party. If it's it. Pennywise or whoever. I, no. Mm -mm. And something that's going on in this community like this toxic community that could be trying to get somebody to turn the water back on or you know like I don't know it's like I see this water fountain there's some type of negotiation but it's like something ain't right with this community you got the divine, divine masculine at the bottom of the deck I'm getting like the divine masculine is this concerned individual they're thinking 33 could be significant. Somebody could have the life path. 33, that, that is a master number. Um, oh, we got entrapment behind divine masculine. Money, heartstrings, in between divine feminine. Ooh. Sick and a bitch, but I'm still going to get that money. Somebody. This is some type of entrapment. Because it has something to do with blood ties, family. And then right behind it is twin flame and realization. Wow. 
y'all I, I saw this uh skit what's that dude who be um he be doing them nursing like he be like the cna it was like uh say get down i told you to get what no <laughs> he said sit down you a far risk i keep telling you and the lady's like I ain't no damn virus. Leave me alone. I can do what I want to do. And then she falls. I'm like, uh-huh. No, I ain't helping you. I'm going to get your own ass up because I told you to sit down. But uh, he be wearing the wigs and everything, dark skin. And he did a skit and it was like, um, Keisha was acting like she was pregnant. It was like three or four months. And her best friend was like, best friend. <laughs> like, uh... I'm a woman. I didn't have kids and like, I know when, like, bitch, type shit. Is you pregnant or ain't you pregnant? Like, one of those. And she's like, no. I found out that nigga got somebody else pregnant. So, I, I might have been acting like I'm pregnant. Like, this is one of those situations. Like, somebody found out somebody had something else. And was closing out a coffin and felt threatened about something. And it's like something in the community. It's a twisted uh, type shit. Somebody wants somebody to stay at home. Somebody could be saying, watch your back type shit. Like, trying to get hit. What? I ain't scared. No. Okay. Yeah, I don't like saying ninja on, on YouTube, so I'm trying not to say that. But it's like, um, God, I'm sorry. Can we talk? Regrets, decisions, changed behavior. Um, yeah, somebody was, did, I'm sorry, come out. Yeah, it did. We got toxic relation, relationship, physical fighting, bad arguments, needs counseling. We got Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn at the bottom of the deck. So that could be some toxic things going on. Somebody was closing a coffin. Somebody was threatened um, by a love affair of what I'm, I'm getting. And it's a baby in the situation. Somebody is using a child in this situation. It's complicated. Forcing a relationship. Lack of passion. Boring as fuck. I love you. Feeling complete. Showing affection. Honeymoon phase. Not that interested, inconsistent, undecisive, too occupied. So, in my heart of all hearts, I'm feeling like there is a situation. There's a divine masculine, a divine feminine. And there's something being brought in between. It's some type of entrapment in between a divine masculine and a divine feminine. That's what I'm getting. And it's blood ties in this situation. This masculine is concerned and they're in their head. They got an imprisonment again and they're think look, thoughts. They're thinking about somebody. I said the nine of swords in this before I even started. I'm not even trying to project anything. It's just that um I gotta shake you off. The love ain't the same. You keep on playing games like you know I'm here to stay. And Honestly, I thought it was a woman leaving a masculine when I first sat down. But now that I look at this, it's like there is a masculine leaving a feminine. Because that's who's the concerned party here. That divine masculine. You could have thought this person was not interested because they were inconsistent, undecisive. They was always busy or they... Had little, I don't know, it's some type of, um, like they were busy. We got investigating, an investigation, I'm watching you, needs more information, just being nosy, and situationship, let's keep it a secret, sneaky link, get in nowhere. So it was definitely something on the side this person had, and this person realized this person was un unpleasant, had a bad attitude. They watching you because you cut something off is what I'm getting. Because we got the coffin here. This person is it's like, let's put some tarot on it and get to the bottom of it. Because somebody's sorry. There was an ascension that took place, a spiritual awakening, a path. This was something like, um, 
I don't know. I'm getting like a contract or something. That's the energy I feel. Something of change because we got two and three, which redu reduces to five. We got the eight of wands and the six of pentacles. Somebody wants to say something. Yeah, they definitely watching. You see how that? And then the king of swords. This king of swords has something to say. I'm getting like this person says uh, they have real, they're um, straight to the point, direct. But this person is kind of switching up on the energy with you because I don't know. It's like they have feelings. We got love affair. It was a secret. Maybe you're the secret. The money bring problems. Mm. <clears throat> King of Swords typically are smart individuals. They um, they do things by the book. They're truthful. They don't really candy coat shit at all. Um, they don't give a F. It's their year. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, can we clarify this courthouse? What's this? Because I see ascension, I'm sorry, and love affair around it. I got to shake you off was what brought me to the table to read. So somebody's trying to get something, got trying to get somebody out of their head, off their mind, away from them. So somebody could be going through a court situation. The King of Swords was here. This person could work in law enforcement. They could work in um, something of the judicial. Um, like they could be a judge, a lawyer. Um, this person could be going through something, some type of legalities, documentation of some sort. Somebody wants to talk about something. They regret a decision. Somebody could have stepped out of their relationship and cheated, had a love affair. Put it as it may resonate for you. I'm just looking at all situations. What is this courthouse here, Holy Spirit? We have the Strength card, Leo Energy. Somebody's protected. Ooh, there's definitely a tower. Somebody was juggling. They could have been going back and forth on a situation. They say you either play the game or the game plays you. Somebody used to be broke, but they changed angles. Like, their money got better. Something about this person juggling or wavering in what they were going to do caused a tower. This person could be apologizing to or about a situation. Somebody regrets a decision that they made. And I'm getting that it has something to do with the love affair that caused this closing or this ending, this chapter. I got to shake you off type energy because 11 ain't the same. You keep playing games. Okay. Yeah, we got the Queen of Swords coming out. Mmm... You see how this right here fell over here? The moon in the reverse, something was exposed. I love you, feeling complete, showing affection, honeymoon phase. So something was revealed. A queen of swords, energy. Maybe this Leo energy is a giving person. This person balances things. Oh, there was definitely something deceptive, toxic, karmic, um, obsessive. Could have been sexual ties. This is something really, really. Um, I mean, it's, it's all the way toxic, if you ask me. But it's like somebody is their heart and mind is in two different places from their body. And something is being revealed. It's like their demons are being exposed. This community could be the ones exposing whatever little secrets these are. Somebody's feeling threatened because they have feelings. Somebody's trying to bargain with something. There's definitely this Queen of Swords energy that's here. Somebody's cutting some shit off because of what was exposed. Or they are... They got their sword up. They like, look. 
Damn, somebody said I'm about to change my number. Drop a comment if we need to speak. Like, only way you can reach me is if you stalking me on social media. So somebody definitely stalking somebody on social media. And it's like there is something revealed. It has something to do with how they feel. And it has something to do with somebody over here apologizing. Somebody's trying to balance out some scales. I'm getting like there's this Leo energy. Whoever this is in this Leo energy trying to get strength or trying to get some type of control on their life or on what they got going on or or they trying to get some strength and control on something. I'm going to leave that right there. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. But it has something to do with... Uh, 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 uh. A guilty pleasure is what I want to say. Because they tied to it. They feel tethered to it. They done been through the, the pain. They done been through the rain. The blessings and the curses. The lessons and the verses. I don't know. DMX. Somebody can like DMX. Can I get one more? So, the Six of Swords and the Eight of Pentacles flipped over. Ooh, got the Three of Swords. Yeah. Just been walk through it all just because I love you. So, somebody is... Somebody could have been threatened with a divorce. And somebody's trying to get some type of balance. They're giving all type of gifts and everything because of some type of betrayal. I'll make it through the storm because you'll be right there. Somebody feels stuck or trapped or they can't stop thinking. They're trying to transform Somebody is transforming and moving on. Somebody is being grateful right now. They are thankful for their blessings, their curses, everything that they went through. Somebody is like testifying. It's going to help somebody. I don't know if somebody is working on themselves, like they're working on transitioning to something else. Maybe they, they learned a lesson is what I'm getting. There was a betrayal. There's somebody's working on themselves. They're trying to get balanced. The six, six and six, like they're getting strength to overcome a betrayal. They're ascending. Yeah, I don't know if it's if it's a masculine or if this is a feminine that's ascending, but Whoever this was that was betrayed, it's like somebody was giving, loving, nurturing um, a balanced individual. They're getting courage to walk away from something that was that it's like a divorce because the King of Swords showed up in the deck. And then the Queen of Swords over here is, is either being exposed to something or is exposing something. And I always say the king and queen of swords is like the divorcee or divorcee of the deck. The king and queen of pentacles is the married couple. <clears throat> There's an ending. Why is this coffin here, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels? Something is telling me to put this to the side because this was just a tidbit. I feel like that was a tidbit. Why is the coffin here? Why is the coffin here? Oh, this was fated to happen. This. Somebody is stuck on this empress. Or somebody's trying to change. They're trying to metamorph <laughs> for this empress. This empress could have felt stuck. Pisces, Taurus, Libra energy. That Queen of Swords is Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. So, but it may resonate with those um, Zodiac signs energy. This came, fell out right here. So, I'm going to just take this like Spirit wanted me to, to, to receive that. <laughs> it fell on my receiving hand. Um, 
It's like there's an empress here that is transforming. Empress, you could have felt like a, somebody's dirty little secret or you were someone's secret. Somebody is sorry, but there was something faded, like a faded meeting. Uh, ups and downs for a faded reason. Good and bad for something faded. Inevitably faded. It's like, you know how, um, I don't know if y'all heard that Wale song, but it was like, uh, getting together is... is it's like getting, well, I can't remember the words, but it's basically like getting together. Like when someone's planets are crossing just enough where you can jump onto the same planet and kind of, it's like someone has been watching someone. Someone has kept their eye on the prize, like their eye to the, the divine. But it's like somebody is, they've been down for a little while, but it's like, they, it's like they're coming up. They're supposed to, and it's going to be an even balance right here whenever that turning of the wheel comes one of those type of energies like this woman eyes even though it's like right here even is she's still focused on the divine she's looking at that Aquarius sign so somebody could be an Aquarius or a Le Aquarius Leo why is the coffin here Holy Spirit Holy Angels What's going on? Oh, Queen of Cups. So we could have a Cancer Pisces Scorpio. It's definitely emotions, feelings in this situation. Somebody didn't express their emotions and it caused someone to focus on themselves is what I'm getting. Yeah, somebody is trying to take some type of new action. What's that? The Two of Swords. They want to cut something off or they don't. Somebody didn't want to. They didn't want to make a decision. And there's some type of awakening, some type of judgment call that was forced. We are soldiers in Jah's army. Somebody's in their head about it because there was something. Yeah, somebody closed something. There was a, a lack of passion. It was way too complicated. This person is embarrassed about something that was found out. But there was an ending, an inevitably faded ending. Why is the coffin here? Why is the coffin here? We got the four swords. So somebody definitely could be healing, um, reflecting. Somebody is, yeah, it's something in regards to this betrayal or divorce. That three of swords definitely could represent a divorce. Somebody is making a necessary transition. Look at this. They're thinking about it. There was a, a betrayal that took place. There's a healing from it. And then there's a moving on. Somebody realized this was too much. There were too much emotions, too much chaos and conflict. Once again, we got the page of swords. Somebody found something out. They possibly researched something. They went looking for something and found answers. Um, yeah, somebody was back and forth in between a decision. And someone's like, they have to get some type of balance. But I, I feel like there's some type of angelic, there's an angelic presence Archangels stepping in and creating a harmonious balance in a situation. This person is seeing some type of opportunity, some type of outlet, something, something came in. This person in this energy here who's wanting to leave this situation, possibly been wanting to get out of this and end something, was in between this for a while. And so instead of gaining control, this person would just give gifts. I saw gifts here with the 17. Yeah, this person was a giver. We got adjudication right behind. It's like they are so used to giving gifts. That's That was their routine. But it's like these love affairs just kept things going, like um, pulling this person outside more and more. Now, I don't know if that's the divine masculine or divine feminine who is going through this with that person in a love affair, but it was an ending that was definitely needed. It was like it was too toxic. Too much chaos. They had to move on. This person saw growth somewhere else. It's like they, the ace of wands was at the bottom of the deck. And the page of wands is here. It's like this person, I don't know, maybe they felt it was an embarrassment to start over or they could have done something they felt like 
it made them look silly or foolish or something. They could have done something foolish and they felt foolish for what they did. But it's like this person is looking at growth somewhere else, balancing out. It's like this person is making sure that they don't have to juggle something that's something that's going to be balanced out in a like somewhere else. I don't know if this is like somebody. I see that nine of swords here. They're in their head about it. Look, Ten of Swords, King of Cups, Nine of Swords, and Third of Pentacles. Somebody wants something to work out, but it was like too much. It's a lot of deception, a lot of uh, conflicted things. Like this person is in their thoughts. This is somebody who's loving, very nurturing, caring, giving. Um, the King of Cups is, you know, that hopeless romantic. <laughs> And they're scared. They're terrified because there were betrayals. This person is losing sleep. They got anxiety. They want something to work out. Like they want to collaborate and do something. But it could be threatening their future. I don't know. I'm getting like this was something in the past. They had to ascend from something and get their confidence back. But it's something about a betrayal either to them or from them. That's, you know, that keeps them retreating, moving away or or like from. From growing anything or creating something. This person had to heal and move away from something and start something anew. If you think you're lonely now. Why is community in the reverse though? What is this community in the reverse? Somebody may not have the support of their community or family um, because of some type of feelings that they have. We got the five of wands. When it's cold outside, who are you holding? There is some type of challenges or conflict. Oh, and then the Hierophant. There's this traditional way of things needing to be done. It's like, that's not how it's supposed to be done or how it's supposed to go. There's a lot of arguments. This person could be going through it with their family. I want to clarify that threatened. Be in two places at one time. If you think you're lonely now. Something about this love affair. Somebody's embarrassed about. It. Because somebody's definitely having complications in a situation. And that's what's closing out there's this coffin here that's there's a lack of passion or somebody feels like that this relationship is being forced and it's no longer i'm really getting like somebody stepped outside of a relationship caused a divorce they're sorry about it but they're ascending it's like they are concerned about how someone would feel it's like this person, I don't know, I'm getting bipolar because the King of Swords and the King of Cups. It's like thinking logically and with your heart. I don't want to say bipolar, but it's like they're they're balanced in that situation. They're thinking with their head and their heart. They're sorry about something, but they're ascending. They're not staying. They're, they're taking a step at a time. It's like that two of, um, like the two of wands in the deck that I have here. And then I pulled it on the Six of Cups. So somebody could be thinking about a past time. Um, definitely that resonates with their heart. It makes their heart thrive. They could be in this King of Swords um, energy with someone and in the King of Cups energy with someone else. And that's why it's so complicated because there was a love affair. And it has them feeling foolish like a clown. Like this can't be happening. Like I'm not this type of person. I don't be in my feelings like that, but someone has somebody in that energy. They see growth there, but it's like they're in their head because they have to transform. They have to move away. 
the player card didn't come out, but I'm getting like somebody was in a player energy. They was not going to, um, they were going to make head over heart decisions. They weren't going to be this king of cups. It's like they've ascended from that type of energy. Now, this could be a feminine, even though I'm saying kings, just, you know, put it as it may resonate. But it's like this person, it's like in this knight of swords, knights go to battle. Knights are valiant. They're not weak at all. Even though the knights in the tarot represent like immaturity, you know, like adolescents, not necessarily teenagers, but, you know, more courageous, more independent, yet not on king status. But it's like this person... It's like they're battling against everything that happened in the past. And I don't know if there's this, this spontaneous energy where somebody wants to, you know, go towards this growth. And it's like their head is telling them, you know, like a better judgment or like someone is saying, you know, think about it. Or maybe their community, they feel like their community hasn't ascended. And it's like they're, you know, somebody is finally, I don't know, I'm here wait until tonight. If you think you're lonely now, wait until tonight. What else for this community in reverse? Why the community? Oh, okay. So somebody definitely wants victory and success in something. But we have these two that came out and it's fallen on the healing like that four swords. This person feel like they were manipulated or somebody is trying to manipulate them. This person could have felt weaker, like they didn't have any willpower, but they're coming out of their head. This person, I'm getting like this person feel like they didn't have any strength at this time. And because they're healed, they're no longer in their head. It's like something, it's like this is a lot of mental energy here. Like this person is no longer going to be in their head. They're no longer going to be manipulated. They're no longer going to have um, or lose willpower. There's a negotiation going on. Somebody could be big and saying that I love you. They feel incomplete. Like they're trying to show a lot of affection and emotions. And this person, I don't, I said the two of wands. And then the Six of Cups showed up on that deck. And now we have the Two of Wands and the Six of Cups here. Somebody is thinking about, they're reflecting on their investments. Is what I'm getting. Like what they put their time and their efforts in. Somebody is played. They're over it. This is like discontentment. She must have thought I was stupid. I knew she was fucking my cousin. Ooh. <laughs> I didn't try to say it like him, but that's what he said. And it just. It's like somebody wanted to win so bad. I don't know. Maybe something could even feel cheesy. I'm just looking at them and they like smiling, even though I know in the, the whatever. In the media, this was a happy couple. They're the, you know, like, good girl, bad guy. I don't know if he's a bad boy or not. I don't know. Nothing about these two. But they look cheesy as fuck right here. And somebody could be feeling like somebody's um, manipulating them, trying to put them in their head. It's a lot of arguments, trying to get them to go against what they want to do. Somebody is trying to be victorious about something. So I heard a bitch you crazy. They tried to make somebody look like a fool or like a clown. I keep hearing, I knew she was fucking my cousin, like, something about that entrapment. Somebody's pulling on somebody's heartstrings. Why is this threatened here, embarrassed appearances? Why is threatened, embarrassed appearances here? What is this? <gasps> Somebody could have been stepping outside of a relationship and there was an ending going on. And somebody found out about a secret, which somebody closed out a coffin on a secret. 
trying to get this to work, but it wasn't healing. It was like there was this ending that was happening. Somebody moved on. They thought they saw growth here, but this person made them look like a clown. She tried to show out in public. Oh my God. She must have thought I was stupid. I knew she was fucking my cousin. <sighs> yeah, Spirit said that is the word of the mother freaking day. That is the truth. Tell me why. Oh my God, tell me why. I never want to hear you say. <gasps> The king of swords comes out. This person made a head over heart decision. It's like, look, they called this man. They cut somebody off and they're taking. Wow. So this is it. Somebody was concerned and in their head about a secret or uh, something down low. What is this love affair right here? Somebody had a secret. They cut. They ended this love affair. Apologized. You know, was trying to get things balanced in this relationship, but there was an ending happening. Maybe somebody threatened to, to leave somebody and they was like, okay, okay, okay. I'm going to cut it off. I'm going to close it off. You know, there was, it wasn't, a, it, there wasn't any sparks, any love, any, anything in this relationship. They It was complicated is what I'm getting. This may not even been a, yeah, because the courts is here. There's something legal about it. Paperwork. But somebody was healing from it. There was a betrayal. Somebody could have cheated and then this person took them back and then they did it again and this person closed it out. They had to heal. And it's like this person kept doing it. This could be a feminine getting courage and the, or it could be a masculine. Y'all put it as a man resonate. But that little love affair right here and then the chariot flipped over in the deck. King of Pentacles, the world. Queen of Swords. Oh, shit. Y'all. Look. Remember, in the beginning, I love you was here, right? And the Queen of Swords and the moon came out in the reverse. It was exposed. This Queen of Swords was the secret. The Queen of Swords is the one with this love affair. You see how the, the world is closing out right here? This was a relationship. This, okay, so the masculine energy, this divine masculine is in this king of pentacles. I'm getting, we got an emperor and an empress, okay? Y'all, let's roll with me, okay? Um, I got one response. I got one. I just got one move. With my arms stretched wide. Okay, so this was something new. Y'all don't look at my fingers. Like it's always something going on with my nails. Like I promise, I'm gonna I'm gonna go and get them done and keep them looking good. Okay, but for today, let's just roll with it. Okay, um, this was something that's that was it was something new that began and whenever like this opened somebody's heart chakra. This was something new, something fresh. I asked about the love affair, right? And the Queen of Swords was a secret. I don't know if you were the Queen of Swords in this energy. You're this Empress who embodied the Queen of Swords and cut somebody off because of something you found out. Put it as it may resonate. But this Queen of Swords was a secret. There was this love affair. This Queen of Swords closed it out because they found out that they were a secret. There was feelings, emotions, I love yous, all that cheesy shit. But this was a king of swords with whoever this was they were with that they ascended from. Same energy, same person, but different energy. Okay, y'all, I don't want to confuse anybody. So overall, emperor, empress. The empress was treated like a secret. She embodied the queen of swords energy. The emperor was in this king of swords energy with everybody else, but in the king of pentacles energy with this empress i'm getting like this is a provider protector this divine masculine provider protector but there was something that was dead in the past that was being or needed to be closed out but wasn't and there was love affairs and all these other side whatever's but nothing ever opened up the heart chakra like 
like talking about. There's a card that's turned over and that was the chariot that I had said. This is the right path. This is something that was destined. That six of wands energy. Something that was supposed to be victorious. This is that ship that came in that somebody saw. And look at that. The star. Aquarius energy. I said that on the world card that that woman was looking at the Aquarius sign. So it's starting to flow together. That was the love affair which caused something. There was a, a betrayal, an ending. There was supposed to be a divorce of something. This person, this king of pentacles was giving gifts, trying to keep something going. Um, maybe there was comfortability in this situation, but it was just a lot of arguments, chaos, conflict. It was complicated. It was always fights, so always something. Scars, scratches, uh, uh, very, very physical abuse. Somebody is like dirty. Ooh, okay. So um, there was an ending that took place with this, a closing up. But somebody saw growth in this. Even though it was closed, this Queen of Swords is like, look, I'm nobody's secret. This person is concerned and they're in their head and they can't stop thinking about this person. They feel like a clown because they, it's like they teeter-totter with something that they saw potential in but because they were so comfortable about how things used to be they did not take it to where it should have went and it's like they realize this community this person started it's like a lot of arguments this person is coming up out of their head they realize that there's a lot of manipulation this person could feel weak like they didn't have willpower and that's why they were like look I gotta get strength and courage this is why the 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 strength card came out first Leo energy is matters of the heart so somebody had to gain control of their heart their willpower because like whenever manifesting the heart is you need that energy in order to embody any of, of, of the, the manifestations the heart like that is your emotions pouring out like that's your main vibration and somebody felt like they didn't have anything. So there's this bargaining and begging energy. I said there's this cheesy, this cheesy energy about this. Like, a, I don't know, something, something was not working. They found this King of Swords found out a, a truth. They felt embarrassed. Can I get one more for the threatened, please and thank you? One more for the threatened, please, and thank you. King of Cups. Why is this King of Cups here? What's going on with the King of Cups? <laughs> what? <clears throat> this person feels like a dumbass. The way that Queen of Pentacles fell out, look, they're walking. All my cards tried to fall out. Look at that. It was a lot. We got the Empress, the Knight of Pentacles. What is this right here? Anywho, Nine of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. This person feels like a lot was on the line. A lot was on the line. And shits is crashing down. We got that tower back out again. This person acting like everything is fine, but they are fucked. They're messed up in the head. There's somebody who's real vain, very um, materialistic. It's like this person tried to make something work that was supposed to be closed out. And they offered a cup. But they were still in the same energy. Like I said, the knights are immature. This person is offering this cup. They took that ace of cups that was given to them. And they tried to give it back to this queen of pentacles in the reverse energy. And the queen of pentacles going to take it, right? She going to take it because like she's resourceful. That's what she does. She, ha she has resources. But when she's in the reverse, so she's very greedy. Gimme, 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 mine, mine, mine. This person offered this and they felt like a fool in the end because the truth came out. They knew somebody was 
in low vibrational energy. What's the outcome of this negotiator? What's this bargaining, begging, please? We got the fool coming out. Damn. You know what? Let me throw that back because I don't like how that fell out. What's this negotiate? Spirit, please. Come on. <laughs> come on. Don't make me look like that in front of people. Can I get two more, please, for negotiator? Two more for negotiator. We got the three of wands, the chariot, and the reverse. And all of these. We got the Eight of Wands, Four of Pentacles, King of Wands, and the Five of Wands. All these wands, this is physical. Somebody was holding them back from all this physicality. It's like a King of Wands, a very fiery individual. The King of Wands was like, look, they put action to it. You know, I still do. Somebody still gets nervous. So the King of Wands is Leo Aries Sagittarius energy. This person is definitely holding back. There's a lot of arguments, fights. Could be a lot of back and forth communication. Somebody could be negotiating um, a, a deal, transactions. Definitely in the courts. It's like there's no, I, I just heard there's no winning with you or there's no, um, there's no settlements or there's no something of there's no something. This person is holding on to their money. They're holding back. It's like, this person is holding back what they want to say. It's like this King of Wands is looking at all these fights, these arguments, these challenges. It's like they're looking at somebody creating obstacles and they're holding back communication. Somebody could be wanting somebody to fight with them or they could be picking fights or starting shit. There's no winning with you. It's like there's somebody is like... Hold on. Somebody wants somebody to give them something. You see how the gift came out? The Knight of Wands. <laughs> Wait a minute. Why did I feel like somebody wants someone to give, like they want them to be sexual with them and this person is holding back? Holding back the wood. It's like it's all sexual and it's like this person is realizing, maybe they're realizing some type of sexual magic. We got the magician in the reverse. Somebody cut off somebody's water flow. This is, if I lose, you can get blue. Somebody's concerned because, yeah, they're thinking back on something. They remembering something about a cup. Look how this cup got all these bubble, bubble, bulls and troubles and all that shit in it. Like, it's something in it. Somebody, somebody is getting confidence to go towards. Ooh, got the Hierophant coming out. Queen of Wands and the Hierophant. Somebody is going towards their Empress, y'all. Look at that. We got the Five of Cups back there. Somebody's in despair. You don't know my struggle, so you can't feel my hustle. I don't know where this is going, y'all, but let's let's wrap it up. What's what's the ending, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels? 
somebody didn't give to somebody in their past and they're thinking back they looking back they're reflecting on this shit they went after looks possibly or they went after somebody who was a little bit more passionate they're thinking about that shit yeah they stuck on it this person is very abundant giving but they're regretting something right now they're concerned about something they ain't got themselves caught up in something I don't know if this resonates with y'all. It's a whole bunch of stuff going on. I know it'd be a lot of energies coming in. So that could be why things started changing up. Um, but somebody is concerned about something. There's a contract here. And it's something changing in the in the air. There's an ending. Somebody's realizing something that, that that's not right. And somebody could be begging. The king and queen of, uh, excuse me, king and the king of swords and the king of cups came out. Actually all, and I said empress and emperor, definitely divine masculine, divine feminine. Somebody did something in the midst of this. They inserted themselves in a situation. This also could have been a marriage. Somebody entrapped a, a, a divine masculine with a pregnancy from a love affair and they feel like a fool about it. And someone is just trying to negotiate to get themselves out of a situation. And they definitely feel caught up in it. Somebody's thinking they're transforming though. They're thinking back. They, they realize how they were trapped. This person was definitely too given is what I'm getting. And it's got them caught up in something, a court case. Mm -hmm. That inconsistent energy is what got them caught up in this situation. They're trying to figure out how to get out of this situation ship or whatever. I don't know. There's a twin flame in the mix still. Yeah, I'll put it as it may resonate. I'm going to end it there. I do want to thank you all for your time and stopping by. I truly, truly appreciate each and every one of you collective. Now, as always, please remember, being wanted feeds the ego. However, being valued feeds the soul. So if you are out and about in the community or whatnot, I do ask if you would please bless some stranger with a smile. You just never know who may feel invisible. But until the next time, make it a great day, my beautiful people.